Hello, I'm Autumn McKinley. Um, I'm a family social worker here in Campbellsville. I've been working here um, for five years and I've helped many families um, and individuals that are having family problems. Um, it says here on the referral that you go by Lydia. Yeah, that's correct. All right, Lydia, um, before we start, I would like to just go over um, one of the main things that we like to stress around here, and that is confidentiality. Um, we Anything that you say um, and that I say to you is confidential, 100%, it stays between us, unless you decide to harm yourself or another person. Um, and then I have to report it. Um, do you uh, have any questions for me? Um, the only question like that I have is what exactly will we be expected in the meetings? Like, what are we going to actually be doing? Um, well, we'll talk about that um, a little later on in a few minutes. Um, but first, I want to ask you, um, what what exactly are you going through right now? Okay, well, basically the reason that I was referred to come here by a friend is because they feel that I've been so overwhelmed with trying to become independent in my life and trying to find somewhere um, recently off campus to live, my job. My parents completely kicked me out of the house and are bonkers, crazy. Um, they have a new job, if I haven't said that already. Um, schoolwork is overwhelming right now and finals are just about around the corner. So I mean, it's everything and anything coming at me. When you say your parents are crazy bonkers, what do you mean? I mean, okay, the way that I look at it is I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. And they just kind of like went off on me and was like, oh, well, you're 21. You can get out of the house now. So it's not my problem, I guess. Okay. But crazy bonkers to me it just kind of means like they're nuts they don't have any sense they're just kind of crazy alright so they don't have any common sense correct? yeah okay um, so you mentioned you're, you've been kicked out of your house recently um, you have school you have your new job you have um, you're looking for a new place off campus um, so I'm assuming more bills, more responsibility. Um, so that adds a lot of stress to yourself. Um, am I missing anything, you think? No. I don't think so, no. Right. Okay. Um, what is it that um, you feel is most time consuming right now? Time consuming right now is, I would have to say, like, homework. Mm -hmm. and just the stress of homework okay um, homework um, what about uh, your job does does your job help with your uh, school schedule um when I first started my job they were all like oh yeah we see that you work um we can work you Monday Wednesday Friday and you have classes on Tuesday Thursday so that's great and all right mm -hmm. No. No, no, no. They have scheduled me like, oh, well, you have classes on Tuesday? Let's work you right when you get out of class till close. You know, that's like 3.30 to 12 o'clock. When do I have time to do all my other work? Mm -hmm. I understand. I understand that. Um, so it's just really, like, frustrating. Yeah. Um... I can relate to that. Um, I've been there. I've been in your shoes and being a student and working full, you know, um, while being a full-time student. Um, I actually had to sometimes have those kind of classes where I would get out of class and go straight to work. Um, are you involved in any extracurricular activity as well? Um, I'm also in band, which lately that has been kind of 
like I guess not like really on the downfall, but stress wise, it's not been as bad because our season is ending, so that's a plus. Yeah. But still, we have practice for Christmas music, and Christmas is like what five weeks away still. Yeah, but I know you all have a Christmas break coming up, right? Yeah, yeah. Right, that's in a couple weeks, right? Mm, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I can understand. It can be annoying, especially before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Mm. And just trying to work that into my schedule on top of everything else that I have to deal with. Mm. And then recently with my parents, um, just basically like we've not really talked at all. Mm. And that, I mean, I guess can cause problems in a way, like relationships being broken completely mm -hmm. and not having anyone to like depend on. Mm -hmm. The only person that I can like really go to is my aunt and my grandma mainly. Okay. So I mean they're like a support but how do they support you? Um basically like any decisions that I have I just run by them to make sure like hey is this the right choice to be making in life you know like mm -hmm. with me wanting to move off campus I am trying to say, oh, well, I've got a three-bedroom apartment for $200 a month. Is is that a good option for me? And they, like, specify, yeah or no, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So it's just I want to gain my own independence, but I still need someone there to, like, guide me in a way, I guess. Right, right, and and we've all been there. And, um, that's just a part of growing up, um, unfortunately. Um, um, what what is it that you are expecting out of this? Um, out of this, to gain control like over life. Okay, I know that's a huge, 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 huge task, but I mean, that's basically what I need. Not necessarily. Um, we can break it down into smaller parts. Um, for example, we can break it down into time management um, with your work schedule and homework. Um, we can also do working with um, maybe regaining a relationship with your family later on in life, um, if not right now. Um, just kind of understanding that they are always going to be your family, no matter what. Um, but right now, it sounds like you really need to focus on um, homework and um, work, correct? Yeah, I would say so. Okay. Um, Homework-wise, what do you do when you do homework? Um, mainly, it's sit at a computer screen and type. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, do you have big assignments, small assignments? How does that work? Um, lately we have had a bunch of huge assignments. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have a bunch of social work papers. I have some presentations that I mean could be considered smaller than the paper. Um, some like group projects, but most of it is like all of the key assignments being thrown into two weeks before finals week, where we have to study for the finals, and it's just like. Oh, well, here's your Thanksgiving break. Oh, no, you really don't have a Thanksgiving break. Yeah, I think that's any college anymore. Um, we just, as college students, you know, you just kind of have to go with the punch, you know. Uh, just kind of roll with doing homework on the breaks. Um, Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, do, like, um, what, what about, um, Working, like, what do you do in your free time other than work or homework? Um, lately I actually took up knitting. Okay. Which, that's been a stress reliever, but a stress er at the same time because the only time that I basically have to knit is I'll drive to work, like, say, 15 minutes early, and I'll sit out in my car and I'll knit for that 15 minutes, mm -hmm. calm myself down, you know, from all my classes and schoolwork, you know, mm -hmm. and then 
I'll go in, do my shift, and then I'll come back to the dorm, and before I'll go in, I'll sit out in my car for like, say, 10 minutes or so, and knit for a little bit, and then I'll go in and be focused to say, oh, well, this is the assignment I have to work on tonight kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like that transition between stressful situation and another stressful situation. Okay. Uh, to like break that. I feel like that. that. Um, uh, I've been there myself, um, but we'll focus on you, of course, um, with um, your stressor and um, just being able to use your knitting as a stressor. What you can do um, is, of course, do your homework and like if you need a break from your homework, like say your big assignment, you've done all your small assignments, say you're needing a break from your big assignment. Just take 15, 10 minutes and just knit or, you know, get a snack, you know, something to tide you over for dinner or lunch, whatever it is, and just kind of relax, veg out, you know, just, just clear your mind. And that, that would, I think, really help you. Do you think? What do you mean, like, veg out? Like, clear your head. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, I can, I can try that. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any more questions for me? I mean, so far it's just not really. No, I'm just kind of getting in the swing of having everything thrown together at once mm -hmm. and dealing with it. And I mean, you gave me some good ideas to think about and try. Okay. All right. We'll meet next week. Yeah. All right. Good.